Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio with a design team video for Gina B. Aaron's design team for the month of February 2019. The theme for this month, if I say it correctly, is beads, charms, and buttons, or buttons, beads, and charms, I don't remember. Anyway, so that's the gist of it, is those three items. So, I want to show you the inspiration for my video. Now, I didn't do anything like these, but this was the inspiration, is buckling. Now, I I'm, don't have a lot of stuff hanging off my books and that kind of stuff, and um, this is one of the few that I have that actually has book bling on it. As a matter of fact, I'm looking around, and I think this is the only one. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, this was my inspiration, was doing book bling for books. I'm making a lot of journals right now, and I thought that would add a little character to them, is to put just a little bit of book bling in them. I don't want to go crazy with, like, you know, seven pounds of stuff hanging down off the book. But this was the inspiration. So, at the end of the video, I will come back and show you the three that I made. I will show you in the order that I made them, which may not be exactly what you've seen in this video, because I made three cut some stuff out, redid a couple things. You know how it is. You make a video and you do it two or three times and you add stuff and you're like, oh, no, wait, oh. So, I will come back.
So when I was thinking about doing this project, I started out with one idea and ended up with something else, which is usually the way it goes. All right, so the first one that I did was this one right here. Now this is a, a pocket journal that I have sitting on a shelf and the eyelet was put in yesterday was I don't put a lot of eyelets in my books and you can tell it's an afterthought because it's really not centered and it's not really meant to be put in here. I did manage to spread out the um, spread out the signatures and I had a nice open space in there and I managed to get it in there without tearing any of the pages up but they are in there with rubber bands so you know it wasn't really that hard but if you have something that you're trying to add one of these two after you put the signatures in and you have three signatures you're going to need to do some finagling about where you put this or I have plan B for you. Let's go with plan A first. All right so I had extra chain. I used to make a lot of jewelry for an old Etsy store and I had leftovers and I thought well I don't want to spend any money to do this. I really just want to use the stuff I have. So I went and looked, cut off a small length of chain and I had some charms, so I went and picked out some gold charms. Then I took three layers of cardstock, glued them all together, and they were scrap white cardstock. It was not a brand new sheet, three sheets of um, cardstock, because I wanted to use them up. Stamped these paintbrushes on there, because I'm crazy about this paintbrush. And then some of these things. I'm not exactly which what these things are called. I don't know what they are, but they're cute. And so I thought, well, they're kind of elongated like the paint brushes and they just need to be on there. So I stamped them and colored them in as you saw in the video. But this was the first one that I made and I did not do the backs. I don't want to see white. When I see something twirl around, I want to see that there's color all the way around. I don't want to see the back side of something. So I'm going to go back and redo these. Now these little ones, they've got color on the front and the back, but the three paintbrushes, not so much. So I'm gonna take them off of here later and I'm going to recolor them. The one thing I wanna say, if you're gonna use paper to do on a book bling, be sure that you hang something heavy at the bottom so that your book bling hangs down properly. At first when I did it, I did not put this, this heavy charm on here and it was kind of willy-nilly. But now the charm's on there, it hangs directly down like it's supposed to. And, you know, it makes the appropriate amount of noise that people are always looking for. All right, so let's go with plan B. Now, you've already got your book, you've already got your signature sewn in, and you're like, uh-oh, I cannot put an eyelet or a grommet in here because I have three signatures, and where am I going to find the center? I can't put it in there because it'll rub on my pages, and that's very true. So you need to think about putting this in, or go with plan B, and that is a paper clip. Now I got this little tiny paper clip from my stash of miscellaneous mini items, and I think this is something out of a Tim Holtz packet of some sort that I've had for a few years. It's a very tiny, tiny little paper clip. Um, and I put I put just wound the jump ring in through the layers of the paper clip. This, this was silver wire that I had, and as you can see, I did the same thing. I did the paint brushes and the little round things here, and three charms, stuck them on the chain, and this time I used a silver heavy charm, and this is a honking charm. I mean, this thing's big. So it weights it down, and it hangs down properly like it should. So if you're one of those people who likes book bling and it's an afterthought, or you have an odd amount of signatures in here, then all you do is just clip your little paper clip on here and you, you're good to go. And if you're like me, um, sometimes you'll take it off because you know when you're opening up your book to work in it, you probably don't want to feel this flopping around on the table on the back. So you can take it off while you're working in the book and then put it back on. This is not as easily done. Then I did this one. Now this is one that um, doesn't have the signature sewn in. So when I put the eyelid in, it's okay because it's centered and I'm going to, I have three signatures here and it was suggested to me that I divide up my three signatures and make it four so that I can do two on one side, two on the other, so it doesn't bother the eyelet there. So I put this on, again, it's silver chain, and I put that big, that big heavy charm on the bottom, but again, I did paper. I did Gina's stamp set from the Atomic Collection, 
and I did three layers glued together of white cardstock scraps, stamped the color, and then stamped the black on the on these, and then cut them out by hand, poked a hole in them, put the ring on them, ta-da, done. This is so easy to do. If you have a stamp set, they're super easy to, to do on your own. I know that Gina has plenty of round things in her stamp, other stamp sets in her Etsy store that you could do this with, and if you already have the stamp set, you're good to go. If you don't have it, you might want to make that investment in at least one stamp set, So, or you know, even a stencil set. You can do this with a stencil set, where she has the stencils that have a pattern. Do your little stencil, cut it out, layer it onto three three layers of some kind of sturdy paper, and you're good to go. This one right here, I stamped uh, the whole thing, and then I colored it in with a yellow koi watercolor pen. And it didn't cover up the black dot, so it left it just fine. I did not stamp the back side. I only did the front. But I got color on the back, and that's what I'm aiming for. I don't, just don't want to see white. So there you go. There is my design team video for the month of February. I hope you got something out of it and you put some book bling on your books. It's kind of cute. Um, and it makes a little bit of noise. It's, you know, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, light up that little bell so that you're notified whenever there's a design team video. Please be kind to the other design team members. They work really hard on their videos. And uh, check out Gina's Etsy store. All right, so I will see you guys in March. Bye.